Hello and welcome to Lime Rock Park. We are here doing the GR86 today. Gonna get out and do some qualifying. And we are the away team here today, as you can see by my latency on the top right. We are uh, on a foreign server, and it looks like I'm probably like the worst ping in here. <laughs> not not that it's a um, you know it's not too bad. I'm still you know within reason I think, but that could make things a little tougher on me where I didn't already need it to be tough. I don't know how uh, how quick I'm feeling here. Um, probably not that quick is the actual answer to that. But I'm going to give it my best. Just, uh... I think you really have to be smooth here at Lime Rock. And that's a big part of keeping your momentum, keeping it smooth, and getting your lap times in, I think is, uh, seems to be a big part. I'm unfortunately the number two car. I thought I thought we'd have a pretty strong field or something based on the signups, because we had a pretty amazing like 200 plus people signed up. And I thought that meant we were gonna end up in a strong field, but not not quite so much. Decent, not all that strong though. But that's okay. It's not like I was gonna. I'm not, it's not like I'm going to beat most of the people here anyway. My road eye rating is way inflated. That was a weird way to take that. <laughs> I kind of like hesitated my turn in a couple times, but that's okay. Haven't really been able to back up my all-time optimal. Maybe there's draft involved in that, and that's why. But in practice, I was like, I can't even get near near my all-time optimal from I, last time this uh, combo happened. That's Paul. That was a one zero zero point two seconds. We'll see how far off we are whenever the lap times start coming in. Kind of changed up some of my shifting points. Oh god, I ruined this whole set of corners. God. Well. First lap's going to be the only one that matters. I just completely overdrove that one corner and then all of a sudden I was in the complete wrong spot for the next one. But that's okay. Minute one is about where I was running in practice. Um, you know, completely outside of the draft and all that. So I'll take it. Holding up pretty good right now, I guess. I bet lots of people are going to be fast for their second lap, though. Yep, dropping down a second now. I don't know how I got a 59.6 last time we came here. P2. The car in front like, of I don't think it records your race laps, does it, because of draft? So it, it maybe I was in a practice session that had draft. Or maybe I've gotten worse. <laughs> it's always a possibility. We'll just stay out here and get a little more practice. I think I'll probably need it. Yeah, I'm starting to plummet now. I was looking good for a second. I was like on pole, and then I was uh, P2, and I was like, okay, P2, and then now I'm down to sixth. So that's about, that's getting close to what I expected. <laughs> Still maybe even a little bit better than I expected. I'm not really all that great in this car, to be honest. Sometimes I'm like, okay, and then other times I'm completely <laughs> Just terrible. But I think I should at least be okay for this one. Pretty familiar with Lime Rock Park. Been around this track a couple times at this point, so hopefully not too bad. Be key for me not to overdrive certain things. Like I said, really just gotta be smooth through the corners, kinda be ready for where you gotta be for the next one. Set yourself up to be in a good position to get, you know, to attack the next corner well enough.
Hopefully I'll be able to do that. P7 right now. Probably not going to drop too much, too much more. I think we're about ready to go here. Actually, wow, still two and a half minutes. Oh, I hope everyone queues up. I don't want to wait that long. I'm impatient. <laughs> going to have to be somewhat patient during the race, though. I imagine there's going to be plenty of side-by-side -side guys uh, running into each other. I imagine I'll probably have to let things sort out sometimes before I can really move anywhere. I'm going to try to do that rather than involve myself in a scuffle and find myself all wrecked. The eight now. Everyone getting their Q laps in. This will be my best uh, lap of the session, just barely. You can see right there. The car itself has a uh, best lap time indicator, which is kind of cool. I like cars that have that. Not really see something you see on the oval racing side. It would be kind of neat if they had that, though. Although I think there are different pages you can flip to, like in the next gen and stuff, on, you know, the Class A. Maybe one of those pages has some of that information. I haven't really looked. I usually just keep it on the same pa display page for those. Getting plenty of extra practice in, that's for sure. Things kind of paying off, too. I feel like, uh, well, feeling more comfortable, but I'm sure it's the car. The tire's getting warmed up and stuff, too. That's making it feel like I'm better. So, there's that. <sighs> Who is out here not hitting ready? iRacing adds a really nice feature that we can go straight to the race when everybody's ready and no one wants to use it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're about middling on time, it looks like. Not too bad. Hopefully we don't get stuck in the middle of a race car sandwich. Plenty of incidents already in the qualifying session. Probably off tracks mostly. But just about ready to get going. Finally. I feel like I already did the race. I guess we'll just try to finish at our starting spot or better. Probably top half of the field, but probably a good goal. Maybe even a little optimistic if I'm only eighth on time, but. Line up on the left side. Closed. Pit road is closed. I don't know. We'll see how quick we are. Race conditions. Right, so, do you have the one fast repair? Do our pace lap and hopefully survive that. Thankfully, Lime Rock, not a huge track. We're not at Road America or anything, thankfully. I think I've come to really enjoy standing starts, though, in general, on road racing. Which is interesting, because being, you know, an oval racer, primarily, you know, that's all rolling starts. I feel like uh, standing starts are pretty fun, trying to see how well you can launch from the line, and it can get a bit messy, but you just get so much chaos on these pace laps. And like even, like it feels like you get tons of manipulation by the leaders in these road racing rolling starts, where like they'll slow down or like be 20 miles behind the pace car and stuff like that. You get, it seems like you get a whole lot more of that, and that's just frustrating. And you can't do that on the while sitting on the grid, so kind of grown to appreciate that. P8. 
Hopefully this one won't be, won't be so bad. Follow car number Hopefully we start moving. In the right column. Oh boy, I gotta warm those tires up. Kyle Busch ahead of us joining the Toyota race. I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess that's not Kyle Busch anymore, is it? Weird. It's gonna take forever for me to break that association. I mean, this isn't even a racing sponsor anymore. How sad. I remember the when M&M's was on, like, Kenny Schrader's car. Part of the reason I like running number 36 in hosted races and stuff, among other reasons. Saw someone kind of just take the, uh, road around there. I did that once on, in a uh, USF 2000 and a cone got stuck on my grill and it was messing with my car. So, <laughs> I don't want to do that anymore. I know it wouldn't do that to this car, but like, that was a bad experience. Bad to go green, and I felt like a big dummy. So we just took the chicane. Okay, my car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. Going. Someone on our inside. 15 minutes remaining. 15 minutes to go. We'll be patient for old Kyle here. Not Kyle, I guess. Right. See? I already forgot. It's not Keep Kyle anymore. Keep to the left. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. <clears throat> I kind of pinched him a little bit. I feel kind of bad about that. I thought I was going to clear him better than I did, but thankfully no contact. We're there much better than not Kyle Bush. And by and the people behind me. Nice. Like lifting way too much right there although that actually ended up pushing out quite a bit felt like I lifted off too much just trying to factor in a uh, draft and all that Seventh position. P7 feeling okay oh boy there's some on the grass what is happening up there, fellas? Um, they are three wide. That's gonna work. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that was scary. I need you to go. Okay. Opa. Excuse me. Get me out of here. Somehow avoid all that. We got the number one behind me. I assume he's fast, or at least uh, thinks he's fast, so he's probably going to be driving pretty hard at me. You're in five. Six two is. Usually one of the two. That horrible corner right there. Still there. Still there. Hold them off. Well, kind of. I almost wrecked myself. We're not going to talk about that. We're in the top five. Nice. Didn't realize we gained that many positions. Seems about right, though. I think about it. Got quite a bit of space in front of us. 
Not sure if we'll be able to reel that back in or not. But we'll try. You're there, all right. All right, doing okay, hit my marks. Wish I could do that more consistent so it's not like a noteworthy event when it happens, but for now it's like, hey, I actually hit the corner. Gotta stop hitting the curbs though. This car does not like those curbs. You've just done a one minute. So far, holding off that one, I thought for sure he would be rocketing past me, especially when I started making mistakes early. Definitely still back there though waiting for his chance can we catch not Kyle Bush ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. I haven't really been paying attention to the relative he's 1.7 or so right now kinda just looks like the same distance he's been in the whole race Little late getting back on the throttle there. Could have attacked that a little bit better. The guy behind certainly didn't uh, mess it up. He's right back on me again. I think he's probably going to pass me before the end of this one. And uh, guys ahead are actually pulling away, so. And it shipped a little bit too early there. We're good though. Feeling pretty good in this whole like sector here. That first sector. Definitely not feeling good there though. I'm just such a coward. I don't attack it enough. And probably better I don't anyway, because probably wreck myself. I almost did it earlier already. Bounce off the curb again. As is tradition. Still uh, about eight minutes left, so there's plenty of time left in this race. The gap to Martinez ahead is increasing. It's now 1.9 seconds. Your last lap time was at one minute. Okay, Colton, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. We are just kind of holding steady. Got through, a little, through there a little bit better that time. Still not great. A little bit better, though. Defend hard. Make them work for a P5. Not seeing very many mistakes around us either, which makes it tough. I'm doing my hardest. I'm trying my hardest not to make a mistake. It seems like everyone else is just driving and doing just fine. 
I'm sure they're working hard too, though. Your lap time was one minute. Sector two is 0.4 off the pace. Almost using a little bit of grass through that corner, kind of getting it rotated, but that's a risky game to be playing. Oh, the guy behind must have had a mistake. Okay, good. That's some breathing room. I like that. I've been taking these corners, like these final two corners, a little easier. I could push a little harder. I just totally missed my turn in there, but um, I could push a little harder and like not lift quite as much on entry and probably stick it. But um, kind of just playing it safer and maybe even being nicer to the uh, equipment here too. And who knows if that'll pay off or not. Seems like tire fall off is a bit of a thing in this car. Based on some things in the past, or some races in the past. So who knows, maybe that'll pay off in some way. Almost hit the turtle, oh my god, that was terrible. Here comes the one. Don't crash yourself, God. Oh my God. I am trying. I am trying to win this finish for myself. That lap time was 100.3 zero, zero, seconds. Alright, that's the best I've ever taken Sector 2, it looks like. It's not the best I've ever taken the chicane there. I just cannot figure that thing out. I'm never consistent in any car with that chicane. Just, I never am. So he's going to have enough of a run to probably make a uh, attempt at me here into turn one. Right side. He's going to kind of bump me before he makes the move. That's kind of okay, weird. On this car. The gap is <laughs> don't need to really push it that close, I don't think, but we're fine. P6, still not so bad. I can learn something. I don't think I did. I think I just went through through there slow again, like usual, but kind of tried to figure out maybe a way to go through there faster. Yeah, I think this guy's just faster than I am. Makes sense. He's the number one. He was number one. I almost went too far to the right there trying to get angle in the corner and put my right sides in the grass. That would have been bad. <laughs> this screechy. Just gonna have to send it, mate. No. <laughs> no, this guy's faster than me. Such bad ideas for my crew chief all the time. <laughs> my crew chief is clearly an eye racer because he's just all about sending it all the time, always. Two minutes. 
assume that means probably about... It could be two laps to go. We might be coming to one. Depends on when the uh, leader gets there. We got a full 10 seconds behind us. That's kind of neat. At least I could feel pretty good that I was, like, in the... Kind of near the front. Like, only within six of the leader. That's not too bad. Like, we're not way off pace or anything. Definitely not race-winning pace. I'm not up there, obviously. I'm also not in the grass, though. That's cool. Man, he really went for a ride. He's going back. He liked it so much, he went back. Nice, man. That was cool. You don't need the size of your car, obviously. That head looks like he's like overdriving, trying to gain a spot he's never gonna get. And nearly kills me. Huh. Some people just can't settle for like not first, man. <laughs> He was never going to catch that 17. Not in any universe. He just overdrives it. Like, I wasn't going to catch him either. But I did now. I gave myself my only uh, incident of the race. Now I am just going to baby it. Look how much time I got. I'll put in neutral to the end. No need. No need to push it. That's the finish. Well done. Good race. All good right. win. There's the ticket flag. Good job. Very good job. I know Nick's talk, talked about it in the past. Like, sometimes guys just don't know how to turn it turn it off, you know? Like, when to assess the situation. Stop pushing. There was no spots to gain or lose there, so long as he hit his spots and he just killed himself. <laughs> right into the wall. I mean, who knows? I mean, maybe he was trying to back off and he just missed his mark. I certainly miss my mark even when I'm not trying to push. But, hey, that'll give us a top five. Very good. I'm very happy with that. I just wanted a top ten, really. That would have been okay. So top five's even better. And uh, we'll see what happened out here. Overall, pretty clean right side say though. Not too much chaos. So starting on lap two, chicane, not through there two wide is usually not very good. That guy gets taken out from third place. Hmm. The six trying to save it, he kind of like corrects himself into the path of the poor number 11, who just like yeah, uh, that didn't seem necessary, and then... Oh man, we've got a couple more casualties on the front stretch. As they're sliding all over the... all over the road. That was unfortunate. Interesting, the red car kind of pitches it, maybe downshifts or something. One too many times, drives in too hard, I don't know. But he gets that thing pitched sideways, and the guy behind him really not ready for it. They both end up off the track, though, so no further damage. Whoa. Everyone trying to figure it out. Wow, that's... Can't ever lift. <laughs> Another situation. This guy's probably frustrated, though, because he got into a wreck earlier. Like, where is he going? There's no room. He's driving on the curb right there just full throttling it and then he's going all the way to the left off the track because he enters weirdly this is what the kind of racing I normally have come to expect from the series like just really like overdrivey like using other cars for to turn kind of stuff 
Not Kyle Busch, gonna get a little bit into the grass, but not much. He ran a good race, definitely, for the 17 as well. We got the bump and run, and then the dump and spun. <laughs> that was some immediate karma, so this guy's trying to do like a crossover, but instead of crossing over, he just runs into the back of the guy and sends him up, and he's like, ha ha, I did it, and then <laughs> someone else was there. So, yeah, probably, it was just about as messy as these races typically are, I think. I just didn't see it during the actual race itself. Tiny bit of grass for not Kyle Busch again. He's making a habit out of it. That's just his normal racing line, I think. really need to see all these though. We'll skip ahead a little bit if it looks like that's all we're getting. Some curb there. And then uh, here's this guy wrecking. I had to make a quick move to the right and unfortunately take the off track, but I'd rather take uh, some grass to the nose than some flex seal. Something, something, he needs some flex seal now. Yeah, I really didn't have a choice but to go into the grass. I knew he was going to hit that right there and bounce off. So I was kind of thinking, like, all right, do I assume he's going to bounce off of it really hard and just kind of hold my line right here? Or do I just go full send to the right, assuming he's going to bounce off quite a ways, and then try to turn as much as I can? And I see he bounces off there pretty good. My decision was made. Right about here, you can see I'm still turning, <laughs> even though normally I'd be going straight right about here. Once I see he's bouncing off, not quite as far, I'm like, yep, time to go all the way to the right. Thankfully, I don't wreck myself in the process. About as well as I think I could have handled that with that happening right in front of me. I'll take a 1x for an overtake, I guess. And, uh, looks like that's the end of the race. Number nine gets the win. Celebrates it his own way, I guess. Right there. Couple of guys still coming to the finish. I'm just forcing, trying to get some space. We have a couple of close finishes there. Mid pack. And that's all there is to see. So we get a top five. And uh, pretty happy with how I run that. It was a pretty clean uh, top five as well. Could have been a 0x, but we take the 1x to avoid uh, the crashing car. So, pretty clean compared to the whole field. And uh, moved forward from my starting position of faith, which is all I could really hope for. So, thank you for watching. That was a pretty good one. I'm happy with that. Um, I appreciate you and your time. And I will see you next time. Have a good one.